With the way in which cybersecurity has evolved, we know modern companies are concerned with implementing dedicated, continual programs for their staff. It's more important than ever to make sure employees are empowered to be an extra line of strength rather than a weak link. That's why we provide an employee cybersecurity risk management platform. Using our platform, we can identify gaps in their cybersecurity knowledge and easily minimize them over time. The portal comprises of four modules. We provide security awareness and compliance training, simulated phishing, dark web monitoring, and policy management. So the first module will be the security awareness and compliance training. So we have two core ideas behind this. The first idea behind training employees is each user has their own individual profile. And when we're talking about human risk, it's important to understand the different levels of risk between each user, both on an overall level, but also between individual topics. So the very first thing that we do for the training is send every staff member a gap analysis questionnaire. That gap analysis asks them three questions on each of these 12 topics in cybersecurity. Based on their responses, we then assign them grades in each topic. And we can see here this person clearly scored lowest in phishing, followed by security at home and public Wi-Fi. So those three modules should be a higher priority for training compared to secure passwords or mobile device security, where they scored A's. So we, we use this to guide the personalized training program. Each person will receive training courses on your preferred frequency, and it will go in order of that person's lowest scoring module going through then to their highest scoring module. So for each person, we identify their weaker point and we then create a personalized program to make sure that we're efficiently educating them on those areas. The courses only take about 10 minutes to complete. They have a quiz at the end. They're non-technical and they're designed to keep people engaged. Uh, we've got video content. We've got flip boards, we've got annotated images with real life references for them to engage with. Um, so the whole idea is this then becomes a continual program. Um, we have 36 information security modules modules available, but we also have compliance training covering things like GDPR, for example, with detailed in-app reporting to give you an overview about how your staff are getting along. The next module to touch on is our simulated phishing tool. So within our tool, we provide a huge library of different phishing campaigns um, covering multiple different territories as well. So we can flick through and we can choose a Microsoft login page, for example. We have that login page here available. We also have an associated email. So we can send out these, type of these campaigns to your staff members. We can do this on a set schedule again, and it will report back on who opens the email, who clicks on this link within, and then when they go to the landing page, who gives away their password. This gives you a safe environment to understand the risk level between your employees across the organization uh, and identify the users who need more urgent training to this really common threat. Um, what we can also do is replicate the type of targeted phishing campaigns that we know companies face. So we can move away from these templated emails and build our own custom templates. It's really straightforward. It's a nice drag and drop tool here where we can add a company logo at the top here, for example, and add a heading. And we can say to staff members that they have a new HR system or a new annual leave policy or a new incentive for the next quarter. We can replicate the type of attacks that you might be receiving in reality and in a safe environment report back on who would engage with it. Um, we can also completely customize the email sender address. So we can make a lot of kits come from HR at your company uk, and we can add a typo in there to give your staff member something to look out for. But we've got complete flexibility again to replicate the type of attacks which you might be experiencing. We then get very detailed reporting within the platform to tell you exactly how people engaged with the campaign. So we can see here, four people were sent this HR fish. It was opened, clicked on, and the password is given away by one person. So I can break this down in more detail here. And we can see a list of recipients and we can see exactly what each person got up to. So you've got very clear reporting to tell you how people progress and interact with different campaigns. We've got um, results to tell you the timestamps as well and also your percentage rates. So it's very easy to spot um, sort of at-risk users, but also show progression over time as you continually test your staff and minimize this risk accordingly. And the next feature is our dark web monitoring tool. Now, a lot of staff members often use their work email for third-party services. Some of them are legit ones they should be using. Others are non-work related. Now, 
Some of these services then get breached and the use lists that they hold uh, on their subscribers are then made publicly available. Um, within those lists is often financial transactions or uh, the passwords that the person has used. So it's incredibly important to understand what information is out there on your staff members' email addresses, because if they're doing things like reusing passwords, that can very quickly become problematic. So we scan against your users' emails automatically and continually scan against them to see if we can find them in public data breaches. So we can see here, this user was found in 145 breaches, test.example.com. These are the services that we found that email in. And within those breaches, this is the type of information that has been made publicly available. So the, um, yeah, the date of birth, email addresses, uh, genders, names, physical addresses, all associated with this person's account for Travel OK are now publicly available. Or the passwords they use for anime game. This gives you visibility on what's out there on your staff members, but if you know that they might be using the same password across different sites, you can then make sure that this information is outdated by saying they changed their um, password for their own internal systems with your organization. The final part of the platform is a document management hub. So it's becoming increasingly important now to have a clear audit trail to show not only are you sending staff members different documentation, but you have logs that they've agreed to that document, that they understand your internal policies and they've given informed consent. Doing that manually, so tracking it through spreadsheets, chasing up employees to make sure they are signing it, is incredibly time consuming. We have a library of about 30 different IT security templates in here built for you. So we can take an email policy or a password policy or um, our uh, acceptable encryption policy and we can edit it and make it more friendly to your organization. Or we can import your documentation here via a PDF upload. We send the document out to staff members over email and we log when they view the document and when they then sign it. We can even set up different automated rules to make sure that nobody is being left behind. So we can tell the platform that every staff member needs to be sent your email policy automatically, but they also need to re-engage with the policy. It's not good enough for them to have just signed it four years ago. We need to show auditors that we are reminding people and getting their consent again. So we can set the platform up to resend the document every two years, for example, after each person last signed it or from a set date. We then get very clear reporting within the platform to tell you who it's been sent to and how they've engaged with it, with version control as well. So as the document changes, we can log how people's engagement with that document has changed as well. And again, anybody who hasn't actually signed this document gets chased up with reminder emails. So all four of these elements combine to help identify gaps in your staff base, but also minimize those gaps through continual reinforcement with a regular automated system that will plug those gaps for you over time.